How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to respond to a common health and fitness question. In my last video I answered the question, will the afterburn effect help me lose fat? And the answer turned out to be yes. But just how much extra fat are you burning from this effect? I'm going to answer this question based on what science has shown. If you're interested to see where I'm pulling my information from, feel free to check out the description below. And without further delay, let's get started. It's important to understand that regardless of the type of exercise you do, your body is going to initiate some sort of afterburn effect. So let's start off by drawing the afterburn effect for steady state cardio. Here you will have continued exercising until you reach a point where you stop and then from there the afterburn effect is going to look something like this. It's going to take a very sharp dip towards the bottom after about five minutes and then plateaus and then it ends right around there. The area underneath this graph represents how much oxygen your body had to uptake in order to return your body to a resting state. Based on a 30 minute steady state cardio session, you'd be lucky to get 50 to 100 calories from the EPOC effect. But what does this look like for the high intensity interval training? High intensity interval training is going to require more energy to begin with, so you're probably going to start somewhere up here. After that you get the same sharp decline that you normally get with steady state cardio. But look what happens at the five minute mark. It sort of plateaus and goes like that. Instead of dipping down to baseline after about 15 minutes, the epoch effect continues. More often than not, it returns to baseline about 24 hours after your workout. Not only are you getting the added calorie burn from this steady state cardio, but you're still getting all this extra oxygen uptake even after you're finished your workout. Based on the numbers that I used from this study, you're looking at not only just 50 to 100 calories, but you could be getting 150 to 300 extra calories burned from the EPOC effect with this high intensity interval training. But what does all this mean when it comes to fat loss? Let's take a closer look. So if you did steady state cardio four times a week, 30 minutes each time, you would burn roughly 200 to 400 calories from the afterburn effect. If you swapped the 30 minutes of steady state cardio with 30 minutes of interval training, you would burn 600 to 1200 calories a week from the afterburn effect. Using the afterburn effect alone, it's going to take you nine weeks to lose one pound of body fat using steady state cardio and three weeks to lose one pound of body fat using high intensity intervals. That is a lot of time and a lot of work just to lose one pound of body fat. I'd almost rather do 400 burpees. This is exactly why in my previous video I mentioned to not treat EPOC like a miracle worker. Losing weight, especially fat, is really tough and requires just a little bit more than afterburn. So back to the original question. How much extra fat will you lose with the afterburn effect? Assuming you're exercising four times a week for 30 minutes each time, it's gonna take you about nine weeks worth of steady state cardio or three weeks worth of high intensity interval training to lose one pound of body fat with EPOC alone. So be careful what you read out there regarding the afterburn effect. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and share it with your friends. And if you want to see me make more content, feel free to hit that big red subscribe button right below me. I release new content every week. And if you have some time, why not check out some of my other videos I have posted? I hear that one's really good, but that one's really good too. Anyways, if you have a minute, feel free to check them out. In any case, thank you all so much for watching, and stay strong.